So today um, I have a little new gadget from IKEA uh, out of the Symphonis range, um, which basically is uh, Sonos, but this is something that Sonos doesn't have. So uh, we have um, this little thing, and that is a um, this is what you want. That's a remote for speakers. They come in black and white. This is the black one. Um, manuals don't need those. Not when it comes to IKEA. Uh, the battery comes separate. That's great. Uh, there. Okay. And um, let's see. So there's a metal backing plate, double side tape. Uh, the battery and then the remote itself. So this little thing is Zippy um, And it can toggle And it can click on and off. So what we do is we take this one that's rubbish too and I need to find a screwdriver which I have Open this up. Okay. Little magnet in the back here. That's for clicking on there. Start. Screw the sides. So we'll, uh, we'll click this in here. It's already. Okay, and then we'll go and we'll start the key up. Okay, add new device. Control I couldn't find a Symphonisk, uh, so we'll just do it the way the same way this is. Now a very very good plan is that if you have any other Zigbee devices around the hub to basically switch them off because it seems to be grabbing anything around. It's one thing I not I don't like about IKEA. So that's uh Okay. So that's the sound remote then. Um and we have other things here obviously. So we we'll go back and we find sound. Um, and we find sound remote too. Um, for some reason, it says the batteries. Is, uh, so we link the speaker and we find office desk, which is the speakers around here. Okay, so you can see then I have already another sound remote set up in the living room. Um, so this is now the office desk. That's okay. So we've done that. Okay, so I will be changing the remote to another speaker again because I have um, uh, I have another set here connected to the PC that works a bit better. And take the office, complete the setup. So you can change the remote around to whatever speaker you want. Okay, um, we then close this. Um, I'll start the Easy Equalizer for. Sonos that gives us the volume, things like that, and uh, we'll start some music. Okay. Um, as you can see, the volume goes down. And 
now I can turn them on the speakers. for Android there is not very res uh, not very responsive but you get, get, get the idea so that works fine um, you can also skip track by double press go track back triple press and you can stop uh, stop the music by pressing um, that works right now not because this PC controller if it was um, if it was uh, Spotify, for example, I was playing from, then all the other controls also work. But that works nicely. And the nice thing about this is you can basically wall mount this somewhere, um, either with, with screws um, or with the double-sided tape that they provided us with. Um, and then you don't have to have um, your, your mobile phone with you all the time. In the office, I then placed the uh, remote um, under the desk, uh, which is quite handy. Um, I can obviously still take it away from there and uh, move it anywhere else. But uh, yeah, that's near my, my uh, office chair and that'll do finest. So um, uh, in that sense, I can then turn the music down if a phone call com comes in or uh, I turn it off entirely, things like that. That's great. Um, in the living room, uh, we placed it on the wall uh, and uh, together with the uh, other controls like the temperature control and the uh, U-Light switch, um, all of which are removable and you can take them with you to the couch or things like that. If you walk into, into the living room, um, you can tell uh, her uh, who is not to be named or Google Home uh, Assistant that you want this or that music but you don't want to shout at the uh, smart home assistant every time you want to change the volume or the track or whatever and half the time it might not even hear you because you might have the music too loud so the remote is perfect there um, you can literally dial it down skip a track forward backwards whatever you, you your fancy takes you um, so for the 15 euros that these cost uh, I find that's a really really good little gadget um, so uh, thanks IKEA for making something like this uh, I have uh, this video is not sponsored um, I have bought these devices with my own money so um, um, if you like the content give it a like and uh, maybe subscribe and um, see you another time